Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is going to be a really quick video to show how to make a hanging indent, like you see in these paragraphs here, in Microsoft Word. If you're anything like me, you might have freaked out the first time you saw this or seen it as a requirement in one of your MLA or APA papers. You kind of look at this and you're like, what is this black magic and how do I achieve it? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, it's pretty simple, um, but if you're anything like me, let's undo this. You probably had an entry in your works cited page or wherever else you're trying to do a hanging indent and you came up to it and put your cursor on the first line and hit tab. Well, that's not it, right? Because now we just have a normal paragraph indent. So we control Z, say, okay, that wasn't it. So I'm going to put my smart hat on, come down to this second line and hit tab because that's where I want the indent. Well, that indented the entire paragraph. So control Z again. Well, maybe if I make a line break here and I hit tab, so I hit enter, and now I hit tab. Now we're cooking, but the problem is, this is just a new paragraph indented like a normal paragraph. So we'll control Z again, get rid of the line break, and what you actually want to do is come up to this little guy here. Don't know what they call it, but it's super handy. And you want to put your cursor on the first line, and... There is a arrow pointing down, an arrow pointing up, and a square. You want to grab this arrow pointing up and drag it in a half inch. And just like that, you have a hanging indent. So if I were to hit enter, I've got a new paragraph here, but it's also set up with a hanging indent. So if I were to paste in another paragraph, it respects that hanging indent. And this is how you're going to get your works cited page or whatever other document you're using set up with a hanging indent. Thanks for watching.